two. Today I want to talk to y'all about something about today's Passover. And the thing is, people, uh, you know, are Christians, so I know because certain people don't study Judaism and they think it's what, you know, on the side, you know. They think that, they think, you know, being, you know, adopted, you know, being joint heirs and adopted, spiritual adoption to the Jewish, uh, you know, people is not really the reality of Christianity. It's, Christianity is its own thing, you know, and it's not connected with the Jews. Well, but the thing is, I want to talk to you about, you know, on Passover, the topic of the message talking about the, uh, the reality of the idea of the cedar in the church, oh, no, the cedar to the church, cedar to the church. Now, cedar is a uh, idea of, you know, taking, it's, it's, it's a lit, it's a dinner that Jewish people have uh, for the remembering of the Passover, you know what I'm saying, concerning the, you know, Moses, you know, lifting up the rod in the, in, the, in the Jewish people were delivered, you know what I'm saying, it's a meal that they eat to remember the, uh, that, you know, event, but here's the thing about, I want you to understand about the Seder, the Seder I like this, the meaning of the Seder, you know what I'm saying, uh, it means in, the, in order, an arrangement, in order, an arrangement, or more likely, here's the thing that, you know, for my, you know, understanding the kingdom of God, uh, when it says it's an order arrangement, that means that God is putting things in an order and arranging it the way he wanted arranged. But the thing is, what's going on in the church right now, you know, that church is not trying to understand about God because, you know, hey, you can see these churches say, oh, we love God, we all about God, we this about God, we that about God. But look, I told you the question. I said, look, okay, you're all about God. Why you're, what's going on with the division? Uh, what is you all about God? What's going on with the, uh, you know, um, the, y'all doing your own thing over here, doing your own thing over there, you know what I'm saying? And where's the, like, you know, it's the set in order the arrangement, but where is the order of the church, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, and following his commandments, you know, following the Acts 2.42, you know what I'm saying, following things in order and understanding that it has to be done in order, if in order things will be, you know, done, y'all got a long line, um, the thing is, here's the thing, the thing is, the churches are in old, and God says, you know, he's not the author of confusion. <laughs> and all this confusion going on in the church concerning a lot of things, the vision, tradition, uh, operating the ideas of the church, and, you know, religious views, and, and, you know, is the church serving God, or are they serving men? Is the church all about the kingdom of God concerning following orders or are they all about creating their own kingdom? You know what I'm saying? It's the stuff that, you know, people are not asking questions. And it's like, here's a, what really irritates me, you know? It's like, where is the resurrection? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, Jesus says, I am the resurrection. You know what I'm saying? And where's the resurrection? You know what I'm saying? You know, and I did a message that Jesus said in Matthew 24. He said, Lo, they will say, Lo, that I'm here. They will say, Lo, that I'm there. But I'm not anywhere else. And I, you know, kind of wonder, say, hmm, is, because, is he saying this because 
of no resurrection going on in the church because Jesus says, I am the resurrection. And if there's no resurrection going on in the church, Jesus might not be there. I mean, the thing is, people are not really questioning the reality of what's going on concerning the church and how the church is so contrary to the uh, scriptures in so many ways and so much going on in the world that is amazing. It's amazing how people just ignore and they just continue to follow a path that, you know, is not producing the result that it needs to produce to truly represent Jesus Christ. I mean, Jesus gave all. He didn't give some. He gave all for all miracles to happen. Not for some miracles to happen, but for all miracles to happen that people don't really understand. And they have, like, you know, to me, uh, minimize the reality of Christianity. I mean, people don't have a fear or no respect of Jesus Christ anymore. Well, I don't know if they, how much they ever had it. I mean, it's just crazy how this world is going and, and, and you know, the way the church is going, the world is looking at the church, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're just another religion. But, here's the thing, you know what I'm saying? It's, here comes the Seder. That's all I'm going to say. That here comes the Seder. Here comes the Seder that's going to arrange things in order to where it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, if you want, you're either, if you're going to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, you either follow the, follow the Seder to let God put you in the proper order that you're supposed to be in, or you, uh, you know, don't. You know what I'm saying? You don't allow him to put you in order and arrange you to where you need to be at to truly fulfill the will and purpose that God has, you know, established through his son, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? That people are not really understanding that you have to respect this reality. You know what I'm saying? That things have to be done in order. God is a God of order. He always been. You know what I'm saying? He's about spirit and truth. No, there's no lies and there's no confusion there. You know what I'm saying? And there's all a bunch, there's all the lies and confusion there. A lot, a lot going on in the church that are not being addressed to be, to be, for us to believe that it's all about God. It's all about Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? The results should speak for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's sad that it's not speaking for themselves and people are not addressing these uh, situations, you know, more. And, well, here's the thing. You got the blood moon just happened. I think things are going, I think the Savior is going to happen to the church very soon. So, I think it's look for the Savior. Get ready for God to arrange things in order to what he see fit and if you want to be a part of him you have to follow the orders and uh, execute them if you want to be a part of him if you don't want to be a part of him don't follow orders but don't be talking about you know oh this is my God this is Jesus this is my Jesus Christ and you're not going to follow these orders concerning pretty much the kingdom of God you know that you must understand that it's going to be established very soon here. So I hope you understand this, and I hope you, you know, follow orders to this, you know, what God is going to arrange. Not me, no, not no, you know, uh, just, you know, flash talking what they do. That God is going to do an awesome thing. God is going to do the, you know, look, God is going to go bam. This is how it's going to roll. This is how it's going to roll. If you're going to roll with it, roll with it. If you ain't, you ain't. All right? That's what it's going to basically be. All right? I hope you got the message. So God, be good. Remember, in Jesus' name, amen.